Hi folks, Jason Webster here. Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Hey, we're out in the field harvesting today, and I don't know if you guys are like me, you probably are, but you sit up there in that combine, and you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and it gives you a little bit of time and a little bit of an opportunity to kind of think about things. Your brain gets to, you know, spinning, and uh, I, I was doing that today, and I thought, let's just shut this combine down and talk about the corn head. And the title of this episode is, can we please take the blinders off of this corn head so we can start to see something? And you're probably thinking, what in the world is this guy talking about? Well, you know, the corn head was introduced in the early 50s, early 1950s. Been around for about 70 years. And I got thinking, well, what's different about it from when it first came out? You know, it took 30 years to figure out that we needed deck plates on a, on a corn head. That came out in the early 80s. It took 30 years to figure out we needed deck plates. What kind of other technology have we added to a corn head? Hey, we got head sight uh, on this corn head. This works out really nice. I can, you know, sense the ground and I can control the height of the corn head to make sure I'm doing a good job of harvesting, keeping the head low enough, especially in down corn situations. That's pretty good. I like that technology. We're even integrating auto steer into our corn head. This is, um, this is, uh, True Sight 2. From head sight, this, we put this on the, on the corn head this fall. Um, what this does, this is a little feeler and it feels the corn plants as, as it's coming through the head and it will keep us nice and straight. It, it ties into the steering of the combine and, and does a nice job. I love this thing. The combine can drive itself. It's my auto steer. It's my feeler. This is a chopping corn head. I've got residue managers basically underneath this head that are chopping up the residue. I think that's some great technology. But everything I've talked about thus far, there's no data. There's no data. Now, I'm an agronomist with precision planting, obviously. And when you think of precision planting, you think of technology on a planner that gives us data. We have the ability to measure. Measure what? Well, every road unit of our planner, we can measure things like seeding rate, singulation, downforce on the planter, heaven forbid, we're even showing things like organic matter, cation exchange capacity, and even if I'm planting my seed into adequate moisture. We're doing that on a row by row basis. So we're measuring and trying to identify problems on an individual row basis. What kind of measuring am I getting from my corn head? Now, let's go back, let's simplify this a little bit. What's the job of a corn head? Well, obviously, it's to take all of my corn plants, bring it into the row. The snap and rolls in are going to pull the stalk down. It's going to snap the ear off, take the ear through the auger of the corn head into the uh, feeder house, and the combine then will thrash my corn. What kind of measuring is happening? Now, we have a yield monitor in the combine that will measure the amount of grain but it seems like we're missing a whole lot up front where we don't have the ability to measure. Now, I'm talking to some farmers the other day about this, this, these blinders on a corn head. And they said, Jason, what are you talking about? What would you like to measure? or What would you like to see on a corn head? Well, let me bring this plant and this ear back up. Guys and gals, if, if we're bringing every ear into the corn head, wouldn't it be nice to measure how many I got? Give me harvested ears, harvestable ears, if you will. Show me what that number is. Maybe we can even measure plants per acre as well as ears per acre. That'd be neat. Now, one of the things that we're doing at the PTI farm is we're trying to understand yield by ear count in the field. Now, here's some data from this fall. I've got a couple different hybrids on here. We're looking at yield by seeding rate. And so my yield goal is seeding rate times 10. And so if I'm planting 36,000, in the field, you take 36 times 10, that gives me a yield of 360 bushel corn. And you can see some of these are pretty close. They're over nine, um, not quite 10, but awful close. Others, not quite there yet. But I don't know what the, your goal is on your farm for, for yield by seeding rate. I don't know what your goal is, but unless we can actively count the number of ears in a field, I don't know if we're going to to know that we're not, not going to be able to know that as easy. I want to know ear count on a spatial basis across the field and relate it back to yield. I want to understand what's happening in my field. And that would be a great way of taking the blinders off and measuring ear count coming through this corn head. What else? What about grain loss? Now, 
up in the combine cab, I've got a monitor where I can, I can look at grain loss, but it's grain loss in the combine, specifically rotor loss and sieve loss. There's nothing in the monitor up there in the cab that tells me grain loss of this corn head. Now we know that we're gonna have some loss on this corn head, but I'd like to know a number. I'd like to measure and say, you know, be able to look at my monitor in the cab and say, Jason, right now, you're losing two bushel, three bushel, four bushel, five bushel of corn out of this corn head. And some of those numbers may be pretty alarming that would make me make some changes, okay? I wanna know, I wanna measure where I'm at so I can figure out is it acceptable? If it's not acceptable, let's stop and let's figure it out and make some changes. So grain loss would be a big one. Lastly, the last thing I'd like to take the blinders off and, and start measuring is yield. And you may say, well, Jason, you got, you got a yield monitor on the combine. Yes, I do. I've got yield sense, precision planning yield monitor in this combine and it's showing me yield. The problem is it's giving me yield across the whole corn head. It's giving me one number. Now, this is an eight row corn head, a 20 footer. Some of you may say, Jason, that's a pretty small corn head. Let me ask you something, ladies and gentlemen. Are corn heads getting larger or smaller out in the field? Well, they're definitely not getting smaller. They're getting bigger. They're going to 12 row to 16 row and they'll be even bigger than that, I'm sure. But yield is the same thing. It's one number averaged across the whole corn head. And if the corn head is getting wider, I feel like we're just dummying up the data. It's just one average. Can you imagine planting your crop and your monitor, your 2020 monitor is just giving you one number, one average number across the whole planter? You would say, well, Jason, that's not acceptable. Well, why is the corn head any different? Why are we measuring row to row on a planter, but we can't measure row to row on a corn head. You may say, well, why would you want row to row yield? Well, there's things we talk about agronomically on the farm. Maybe it's pinch rows. Pinch row compaction. Oh my gosh. I have a, a CCS planter. I've got these big seed tanks in the center of my planter. And when it's time to plant corn, let's fill them all the way up with seed and let's go plant fast and furiously. Well, that's a lot of weight. Okay. Am I getting too much weight in the center of the planter that causes pinch row compaction? Is there a yield detriment there? Well, I don't know because I can't identify row to row yield. It's just one big average across the whole corn head and I may not pick up the differences in pinch row. Add in fertility. I got liquid tanks on my planter. That's more weight. Do I, am I at more risk for pinch row compaction because of that? I mean, we're doing some things with weight transfer. We've got load, our load logic system on our momentum planter at the PTI farm. We've got tire inflation systems that, that we're changing tire pressure on to try to eliminate pinch row compaction. But if I can't measure row to row on my corn head, I don't even know if I'm gonna pick up some of those differences. And I just don't feel like I can document how much those are on a yield basis or on a dollar per acre basis. So wouldn't it be great if our system out here in the field, we could say, you know, our yield monitor's telling us we got 250 bushel corn across this whole 20 foot corn head. But row five, six, seven maybe is this percentage more or less of that 250. And we're mapping it on a spatial basis as we go through the field. Those are the things, I mean, that, that's, that's taking the blinders off and that's really measuring uh, on a finite basis. And those are some of the numbers I'm looking for. That would be some great information to have. Well, we're coming up to the end of our time here at this episode of Inside PTI. But if, if you've liked anything that I've talked about today, or you want to send me some comments, I'd sure love to hear them. Send me an email at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com. I'd love to hear your thoughts about what you think your corn head should be telling you. Well, that's all the time we have. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks so much for watching.